I was unsure whether I was going to be able to speak freely at the reunion and at times whether the reunion was going to happen at all. Kelly did speak freely and got emotional. I hope that this season of Survivor isn't just defined by inappropriate touching or sexual harassment. I hope that it's defined by change. CBS devoted an entire segment to Kelly's allegations. Host Jeff Probst said he was sorry for what happened. You were right to speak up. You were right to step forward despite a lot of risk and to speak your truth. And I want to acknowledge and apologize for your pain. That was the first time that I'd received uh, an apology, so it meant a lot. The problem began earlier in the season. Kelly claims fellow contestant Dan Spilo touched her inappropriately. He literally tried to put his fingers in my hair to like rub my scalp yesterday. I probably need to wash my hair too. Um, oh, so I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Several other contestants said the same thing happened to them too, but later admitted to exaggerating their stories. I was next to him and he would have his hand right here. You'd be like, hey, is this okay? Because it doesn't benefit my game to have to worry about laying there. Like, I lay awake, his arm smothers me. After being confronted on the show, Dan apologized. If it's even true or ever was true for a millisecond, the biggest thing I can think of is just deeply apologizing. But ultimately, he was kicked off the contest. A decision has been made, and Dan will not be returning to the game. He's gone. Earlier this week, CBS and Survivor announced changes to future competitions, including an on-site professional so contestants can report any problems, as well as anti-harassment and sensitivity training, and unwelcome physical contact is now against the rules of the game. It was important to me that if and when this happens again, there are ways to deal with this. Dan told People Magazine, in part, I truly regret that anyone was made to feel uncomfortable by my behavior. In my life, I have always tried to treat others with decency, integrity, and kindness. The thing that was so overwhelmingly incredible for me was the amount of support that I got. And to feel that is really to be believed, and it made me feel less alone.